bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. three years and I still keep fit and healthy. I live a quiet life in my house together with my wife and children. But everything that is good doesn't last too long. As I just got a call Lieutenant Marvin to go to police station for meeting, clearly the subject was Umbrella. What are you seeing in Racken City? Agent Kennedy, second to call. Hello, Thug. This is Roy. I need you to come here quickly. What's going on out there? Umbrella started acting. I'm not sure. But several of our police officers died and several zombies are appearing out of now here. There's a hoot just here. Okay, Roy. I'm on my way. Is Lean around? And Ben, too. No, Lean isn't there, but he's already on his way. Ben has disappeared. He must have stayed in the basement. Okay, Roy, hang on. I'm going, I'm off. I'm getting worried about Leon. He's been weird lately. But it doesn't matter now. I need to wear something decent to go to the police station.
I'm sorry, Leon. I have to wear one of your outfits. To immerse yourself in your gameplay, run all the game files to follow a great story. Have a good game. Stop. Identify yourself, who are you? Don't shoot, my name is Tony Kennedy. I do not believe. Are you Tony? I thought I wouldn't show up again. Tell me, what's going on around here? Wait a minute. I have no idea. I came here to rescue the gun dealer. But it looks like he must have flown to the police station. I have a bad feeling that someone from the precinct wants to betray us.
ended up turning into a zombie, and I had to kill him. He had sent me a message asking for help, but he came alone. You are bleeding a lot. Don't worry about me, Thony. You need to go after Umbrella. The city needs you all. Tully and for me to have many years to live. I always did my best to make the police station a worthy department, but there are people who still harbor the evil within themselves. I wish it were different. This could be the fate of all of us become a monster and deal later. Umbrella is being very smart. You need to take that away from them. The world is depending on you, Thony. You need to protect Rack and City. Don't let them destroy our families and homes. Please do not talk like that. There is no way I can survive this, Thony. I'm sorry, please. Thony, as soon as I do. Promise me you will save Rack and City from this atrocity. Because that will be your obligation to save the city from the clutches of Umbrella. Be strong, balance. Let Umbrella understand that there are people capable of taking on any three. Please, Lieutenant Marvin. Don't give up now, please. Uh. <laughs> 
Honey. A man, excuse me for being late, okay? I found a letter from your daughter, and it looks like she passed through here. Roy doesn't need to worry about it. Let's make it find her. That's good. Luke, I want you to keep this. I see your transmitter is already damaged. Let's split up. Maybe there are survivors. Have nothing happened to my daughter. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lord.
What a scare you gave me, Thelny. I thought you were one of those horrible monsters. I'm on that ugly. Cute you are not. Looks like someone's been drinking again. Rolex, bro, I haven't been drinking. I just got stuck for 20 minutes on that fucking road. It wasn't because I wanted to. It turned out that the exit was blocked by cars and zombies. So no chance. An umbrella acted, we have to be quick. So let's not waste time. Please, Thilmy, help me push this out of here. We have a mission that we have to fulfill. Let's go. their land. Ben, you are. What are you doing locked in here? Why aren't you on a mission? Phony, are you? Damn. What happened? See, I found Ben. Well, how do you get here? I can't believe you acted scared and decided to protect yourself here. Even today, I think you're a very strange guy. You know. Any news about everything? Umbrella is back and is using their bioweapons again and spreading the virus. The city is full of these monsters and there is no way out. We're surrounded. You probably didn't know we would do this mission right. Do you have any idea what we should do? Well, we can talk to Marvin. He must know of a route. That will be impossible. The lieutenant is dead, and this damn company is going to pay for it. I heard about that. I also learned about an underground train in that city. This may be our only escape route. Now how do we get there? What the fuck was that? Looks to me like it's that creature from again. You must be careful. It will kill whoever is in front. Certainly this monster was created in a laboratory and used as a human guinea pig. Yes, that could be. We have to come together again to bring down the organization soon. Well then, we can't waste time. Look for the saddle key. Take advantage and look for the idiot who locked me in that damn saddle that smells bad. 
I guess Key Must is in second meeting room to the east. Take the coup spin. Let's get you out of there. Take advantage and look for the idiot who locked me in that damn saddle that smells bad. I guess Key Must is in second meeting room to the east. Thank <laughs> you. 
Roy, are you? Any news about any survivors out there, and do you have any clues about your daughter, or not? No way out. I think she might be on the other side. Me up that duck, please. I promise to be careful. Tony, are you still around? I'm um, yes, did you find something or someone out there? I found something. Look, unfortunately there's no way I can go up alone without your help. I think we have to separate. I'll meet you on the other side. Wait, wait, wait. It's very dangerous for you to go alone. Wait. Thank <laughs> you.
Ben, what do you hear? Oh, you were bleeding a lot. It would hurt you like that. I don't think I was so lucky today. You will have to go on the mission without me. Forgive me for being so useless right now. Please don't say anything. I forgot to speak. I found something that could frame Umbrella once and for all. Please promise me one thing. Finish Umbrella for me. You are a great friend, and I am so grateful to join this team with you, Fong. Survive and tell new generations that you saved the world. Not, there has to be another way. And, I think to find out who is cheating on us, a person I didn't expect would do this. So tell me who is. My god, what happened to Ben? Hey, wait, what are you gonna do? This monster killed Ben. I won't let him go unpunished. Liam, wait, you will do you go. Roy, listens to me. Figure out a route to Umbrella's lab in the basement of the precinct. What amazing news. Meet me there. Let's bring this company down in one fell swoop. Journey Captain, attention of...
brother. What do you think you were doing? You had a very stupid attitude. You know, stop acting that way. Do you have any idea what could have happened? It didn't even happen to Ben. I know. I'm sorry about that brother. Look, you were my little brother and my mission is to protect you. Let's defeat Umbrella and avenge Ben's death together. We can't give up now. How is everything? Okay, Thunia I was too hasty. Now let's do it my way.
Do not move. You must be one of the BIO members, right? Your name is Liam Kennedy. And your umbrella scientist, are you? Exactly. Please, your my name is Linda. I'm a scientist working on human experiments and creating biological weapons to sell for a good price. Umbrella only grows more and more with these fancy ideas. Why do they do this? What are your plans? Not ours, my plans. I want to end Umbrella for taking the most important person in my life. They were jealous of him for being so spectacular. What did you say? That's right. I may even be a member of the Umbrella, but what they did was inexcusable. I will use my creation to get revenge for the death of my husband, John. I always did his job with great care, and they didn't even thank him. A bunch of motherfuckers. Cretion, your spouse. Yes, John Sullivan, he was one of the Umbrella scientists who oversaw the experiment room. He ended up being killed by the USS. And for what reason did they want to kill your husband? And why did they leave you alive after that? I don't know why they didn't kill me too, but it doesn't matter now. I will tell you everything that happened in detail, about the development of the virus and about the founder, Oswell Spencer. Good. The beginning John was my work assistant, and he was always focused on his area that he liked the most. A will passed, and we started to get together. He had created a kind of monster that we call the Tyrant, and the first Tyrant was numbered one. His experiment and creation was a total failure, which made Spencer furious. But he didn't give up and created two, but it was wasted time too. Spencer ordered the USS group to execute John for his bad experiments. When I found out, I had only one reason for all this, revenge. So I had an idea to create a variant of the virus, the G virus. Even Wesker helped me and helped me create this project of mine. But he didn't know about my plans against Umbrella itself. My project was almost complete, but Annette and William Birkin, my assistants at work discovered my plans. I had to kill them both. When I went to kill William, he knew the effect of the G-Virus. And then he ended up getting infected with Gen swallowing the substance, making him turn into a terrible monster and killing whoever is in front of him. I saw that this would be a great opportunity to get revenge on everyone who hurt John. The monster William wandered around the entire lab until he reached Raccoon City. The monster was so strong that not even the USS Gru could take it down. And now, I intend to go after Spencer and complete my revenge. I found this story very crazy. Did not convince me with it. That's what you think, Agent Kennedy. I can make a copy of the G virus and I will sell it on the market for only $10 million. That's the amount they asked for. I will kill Spencer and take his place and create a new order all over the world. No one will stop this dream from becoming a reality. A new president of the United States will be born. Did you say no order worldwide? That's it cannot be true. My goodness, I fainted from the fall, hit my head really hard on the ground. Where is the lion?
Brother, are you okay? I never thought I was going through all this, but don't worry. What matters is that I'm alive. Relax, brother. I have something that can heal your wound. Now be quiet. Okay, this might help you for a few hours, as you need to go to the hospital to take the bullet out. Did you manage to catch Landa? She ran away, unfortunately. I think there's still time to go after her. So let's not waste time. We're delaying our mission. We need to get this over with. We will.
something wrong with me. I'm feeling a lot of pain. Brother, stay alive, please. There is so much you need to know. The truth about everything I know, everything. Lean, talk to me, please. You can't eat. Lean wakes up. That damn woman is the one with the vaccine. Unfortunately, she managed to escape. I'm screwed. Are you okay, brother? <coughs> Calm down. You will recover. There must be some vaccine in the lab somewhere. You are infected. I don't want you to turn into a monster. That damn woman is the one with the vaccine. Unfortunately, she managed to escape. I'm screwed. There must be some other vaccine. I just need to look for it. Just listen to one thing. Our parents didn't report any news. They traveled without my knowledge. I'm very worried. What must have happened for them to disappear like that? I can't tell. What if they died and no one told anything? Or did they dump us at once to get rid of both of us? After all, they've always been so busy. I think it's better to leave it for now. Okay, I'm going after the vaccine. <laughs> Thank you.
You. You and your fucked up team won't stop my plans. I'll put it into practice as soon as I get out of this disgusting umbrella lab and another thing. You didn't tell your brother about your parents' death, did you? What happened in 79? He also deserves to know about using you as human guinea pigs for biological weapons experiments. They would try to create a super soldier. This will please him. Did you know all this? I know everything that happened around here. And rest assured, your brother will be so upset and frustrated by what has happened that he will end in disaster between the two of you, I can predict that, because I will personally tell him everything. Do not you dare. I can get anything I want, Fanny. By the way, I want to see the misfortune happen to other people too. I can go through it all alone. I will do what they did to me even with innocence and especially disgusting umbrella. Do you think doing this will solve your personal problems? This is totally pathetic. Yes, I'm sure, but you don't know anything else. So I'm going to kill you right here. Goodbye, Agent Funny. What the fuck is going on? The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Wait there, Sony. Was everything she said true? 
tell me. Calm down, Leon. I can explain everything. Our parents died years ago and you knew from the start. Why did you lead to me, saying they were traveling? I did not want this. I just didn't tell the truth, afraid you'd get depressed about what happened. Now calm down. But it didn't seem to do any good. I ended up finding out in the worst possible way. I'll never forgive you of that brother. You deserve to be punished for keeping this secret from me. You will be punished for hitting for me so long, miserable brother. Lindon do this. caught you Leon. I won't let you fall. Hold on brother, hold on tight. You deserve death. You bastards. Tony, it was for me. I don't want you to sacrifice yourself saving me. Please get out of here. Shut up, I'm not leaving this place without you. I've never been a good brother to you. Not even as a rookie cop. I guess that's my fate. No, I promised our parents that I would protect you. Don't let yourself get soared by it. I apologize for everything. I forgive you, brother, but I don't want it to mess with my head. I want you to go on with your life without me. Tell Claire I love her very much, and I want her to be happy. Goodbye, my brother, and don't cry, please. Cannot be possible. Don't worry, Leon. You will always be my little brother. I will honor you and the rest who are gone. Goodbye. minutes until detonation.
five minutes until detonation. Game over for you, friend. Sherry, I'll take you to Elsa. Hang in there, little girl. Don't worry, Sherry. I'll take you to Elsa. Hang in there, little girl. Everything worked out. Time to go home. The lean is really hard in the fall. The miserable one managed to survive. Good, I'll call my wife. We're already leaving Racken City. My brother, did you really think I was dead? I really thought I was dead. How did you manage to survive and not turn into a zombie? Good. I kind of fell into a water tank and ended up surviving. 
and I just didn't go zombie because you threw the vaccine away. Whoa, that was intense. I'm glad my little brother is back home. Lian, forgive me for what I did during these years. Look, don't worry about it anymore. It's passed on to me. I understand you wanted to help me. I forgive you. Thanks, brother. But what the fuck is this? What are you seeing? What was that turmoil? Warning, biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. Keep what would happen. Open the door. The door is so bad, Madison. Let's have activated and start now. Hello? 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 Hey, can someone open this door? What's happening there? But what the fuck? I really can't see what's going on there. Can you hear me, Elzo? Roy. Mm. Roy, please don't die. You need to stay alive. You have a daughter and you cannot abandon her. Forgive me, Leon. I was a big a shill and use less in this mission. I think I deserve this fate. The captain, I'm sorry. Don't talk nonsense. You'll get out of this. We'll find a way to heal you. He's right. We can help you. I still love you. Did you know that? I still love you too, but there's no cure for it. Try to understand. It was for me. Dad, you can't leave me. I need you here. Please, Daddy, stay. I'm sorry, my daughter, but Daddy will have no way out of this. I just want you to be a strong person and to study art. It's okay. Yes, Daddy. I promise to be a strong and studies person. Come, my daughter. I love you, Dad. Leon, I want you to do me a favor. Shoot me before I change. That's what I feared. Well, forgive me for that. I didn't want things to be this way. I didn't want to either, but that's the way it has to be. Please, do it. Listen to what I'm going to tell you, Roa. You will always be your friend and member of the bio of the Raccoon City Police Station. I will make sure you are remembered for your bravery and loyalty. Goodbye, Roa. And forgive me. Thank you very much. Thanks for everything.
had no other choice, Tommy. Or ask me to shoot him before he transforms. Do not worry about it. After all, there was no way for him to survive, as there was only one cure. Goodbye, friend. Not what are we gonna do? We have to stop the train and get out of here. It's the only option. Let's get off in that helicopter and live a new life. Let's go. 